remove my scarf or get 10 kilograms of gold? I've never removed my scarf before, so I'm going to remove it. No, that scarf protects you from bad things. Don't remove it. Okay, I'll choose the gold. Mom, I'm going out with my friends. Okay, remember, whatever you do, do not remove that scarf. Yes, Mom, I know. It's really hot today. Hey, have some of my juice. I haven't tasted juice since I was a child. You really don't know what sweet tastes like? How about salt or sour? I don't know. Yeah, you're weird. We can't be friends anymore. Come on, let's go, guys. Wait! Amara, are you not swimming? I can't swim, sir. Why is that? Because my scarf will get wet and I can't dry it because my mom told me I can't remove it. Oh, then I'm going to have to fail you for this class. Fail me? Yes. Today, there'll be a cooking lesson. Who here can cook? Me. I know how to cook. Okay, then. Please register your name. I'm going to try a little bit of your meal. How is it, sir? Why does it taste so salty? But I've never tasted salt before. What is it? It's better if you don't take cooking class anymore. Look, it's the girl who never tasted food before. And what's even worse is that she's been wearing that scarf since... I'm now. not weird. I also don't know why my mom, my mom always tells me to wear the scarf. Amara, did you know there's other girls who can't taste food either? I think it's because of the scarf. Why don't you remove it? But my mom says if I remove it, bad things will happen. You still believe that? You don't know what will happen. Just remove it. Okay, I'll try it. I've removed it. Just be careful if something bad happens to me. Just calm down. Now, we have to see if the reason why you can't taste food is because of that scarf. Hey, I have a drink for you to try. I wonder what it tastes like. I wonder what this tastes like. Wait, I can finally taste. This means the reason why I can't taste is because of the scarf. But why did your mom give you that scarf? I don't know. Has she ever given you anything to eat? She always tells me to eat bread, but I don't know what bread it is. I think your mom doesn't want you to know the real taste of bread. You have to find out why. You're right. I have to investigate. Mom, I'm home. Already? You didn't remove your scarf, did you? No, mom. As always, you have to eat this bread. Yes, I'll eat it later. Why don't you eat it now? I'm full. I'll just eat it later in my room. Okay. I have to know what bread really tastes like. Why is it so bitter? I'm sure bread isn't supposed to taste like this. I have to find out what exactly this is. Mom, I'm going out for a bit. Where are you going? To work on a group project with my friends. But have you already ate the bread? Yes, Mom. Okay, you can go. Jess, where are you? Amara! <sighs> Finally, I found you. Is that the bread you've been eating? This is the bread. My mom always gives it to me, but it tastes bitter. I don't really think it's bread. Give me the bread. Let me find someone who can check it. <sighs> Thank you so much for helping me. Calm down. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got this. That's strange. Amara's not wearing the scarf anymore. And she said she can taste food. How come? I couldn't taste because of that scarf. Because my mom always told me to wear it. I'm really sorry I bullied you in the past. It's okay. Amara, I found someone who can check the bread. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Excuse me, can we ask you about the bread? Give me the bread. Let me check. Results are out. So, what is it? How many times have you eaten this? I've been eating it ever since I was a kid. Is there something wrong with this bread? Oh my gosh, this isn't bread. This is... Hurry up and give me the rain symbol. Wait, hold on, son. But my mom and dad both have the rain symbol. Oh my gosh, hurry up, cover that symbol. Here's some makeup. Huh? Why do I have to cover it up, mom? Because I cheated on your dad and your real dad had a sun symbol. Hurry up, cover it. Cheated? Does that mean I'm not your child? You're ridiculous. Of course you're my child. I gave birth to you. Amara, stop running away. Let me call your mom. <laughs> no, don't touch me. I'm going to tell dad that you're a cheater. Oh, I already know. I've also cheated on her before. Huh? When did you cheat on me? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the day after our wedding. What is wrong with you people? Oh my gosh, Amara, you got the sun symbol? Yeah, I did. How come? Your parents both have the rain symbol. I don't know. I had, it's really hard to get the sun symbol. My cousin gave birth to a hundred kids just to have one with a sun symbol. A hundred kids? Yep, so you're very lucky. 
Lucky, why? You didn't know? Only people with the sun symbol can marry the king. Marry the king? I don't even want to. Hey, are you talking bad about the king? Get her! Hey, let go of me! Why am I in handcuffs? You will stay here until the king comes and decides how to punish you. Please, let go of me. I have a maths exam soon. If I don't show up, I'll be in big trouble. Wait, the king also have a maths exam today. Maybe he's your classmate. Let's take her to him. Okay, let's do it. Excuse me, miss. I'm so sorry I'm late for the exam. I was kidnapped and handcuffed and they finally let go of me. Um, your excuse doesn't make sense, but because I'm in a good mood, just come in. Hey, you're cheating off my paper! What are you doing? Did you just hit that guy? Yeah, he's an idiot. He keeps cheating. He's bleeding. Are you okay? Hey, you. Aren't you the girl from earlier? Yeah, I remember her because she has a sun symbol. Oh my gosh, our king, what did you do to him? It wasn't me. And who's the king? Who are you talking about? Uh, it's... it's me. Short life or an illegitimate child? I don't want to live a short life. I'll just choose the illegitimate child. I can just put it in an orphanage or something. Mommy! Wait, how come you don't look like me? Listen to me carefully, okay? I'm not your mom, and today I have a really important job interview, so stay away from me. Mommy! I already told you, I'm not your mom. You're Amara, right? Yes, sir. So you're married, right? Not yet. But it's written here, you already have one child. How did my personal data change? That means you're a single parent? Yes, sir. Something like that. All right, in that case, you got the job. Wait, really? Thanks so much. Finally, I have a job. Who's calling me? Hello? Hello, we're from the police station. Police? What's wrong, officer? We just found out that you have a... Share the same pain or share the same bank account as my soulmate? If I share the same bank account as my soulmate, I might be poor because he might not have money. So, I'll share the same pain. Hurry up, Amara, you gotta be late. Yes, mom, be patient. Ouch! Poor soulmate, he probably felt that. Hey, Amara. Hey, Jason. Why is your neck red? I woke up and it was already like this. Maybe a ghost was strangling me in my sleep. What? I'm just joking. I'll see you later. Maybe it was just a coincidence that he had a burnt mark on his neck. What did you choose this morning? To feel my soulmate's pain. You should have chosen to share your bank account. I chose to share my bank account and look at me now, I'm super rich. Oh, hey Amara, can I stay at your house? No, sorry, you're a guy. My mom would never allow that. Please, I'm so afraid of my parents. Why is he afraid of his parents? Why is there so many bruises on your legs? Did you have a fight with someone? These bruises are from my soulmate, mom. Jason didn't come to school today. Why is everyone looking at me? You don't realize what's on your stomach? What do you mean? <sighs> Your stomach's bleeding. Let's go to the hospital, quickly. <laughs> There's definitely something wrong with my soulmate. I'm so tired of being single. Dad, can I go to an all-boys school? An all-boys school? I mean, yeah, if that's what you really want. I already chose it. I'm so excited. Anyways, I'll see you later. I need to go to my new school. Wait, before you go, you must know that boys only school... It doesn't matter. I already chose it. Bye. Wait, it's important. I can't wait to get to school. Everyone's definitely going to be surprised because I'm the only girl there. And I can finally get myself a new boyfriend. Guys, look, why is there a girl wearing our school uniform? For God's sake, Dave, it's still morning. Don't worry about it. But really, wow, she's so beautiful. Why does the toilet smell like pee? Because there's no girls here, so we can pee freely. Wait, what? Are you for real? No, I'm just joking. Can I have your number? I I'm just gonna go. Today we're going to learn how to cook so you can be the dream husband in the future. Yes, cooking class. This is one of my favorite classes in school. But why do all guys look so pale? Please choose your own group. One group consists of two people. Why are you all looking at me like that? Please be in my group. I can't cook. Leave her alone. She's going to pick me. Don't listen to them. Come. The seat next to me is free. Whoa, relax. Instead of fighting over me, I can just teach you all how to cook. It's very easy. Why is there a girl in this class? Who allowed her in the school? Throw her out now. Why should we throw her out? She's better at teaching us how to cook than you are. Just get rid of her now. Ugh, I hate teenage girls. Are you sure you want to kick me out of the school? That would be a very bad idea. And why do you say that? Because I... Are you sure you want to kick me out of the school? That would be a very bad idea. And why do you say that? Because I chose to be in an old boys school. I'm sure if you kick me out, you'll get in trouble. You chose? What do you mean by that? Yeah, it was one of my options. 
That's weird. Usually people don't get to pick. Well, anyway, I think you're lying, so I'm gonna have to report you to the principal. But miss, I don't think that's necessary. Yes, it is. For now, I'm sending you home until the principal makes a decision. But miss, don't send her home. We need her here. Be quiet. Pack your stuff. You're leaving. Hey, Dad. You're home early. How was your first day at school? I got sent home. What? Why? Because apparently I'm not allowed to be in an all-boys school because I'm a girl. Well, I tried telling you, but you didn't listen. Boys schools usually don't accept girls, so I don't even know how you go as an option. Well, maybe I got it as an option because they need me there. I was able to help them today, so maybe I'll be a good addition to the school. True. Well, what's going to happen now? The principal will make a decision whether I get to stay or switch school by tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to go to my room. I have to study. Okay, good luck, honey. The principal wants to see you. <sighs> okay. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, I'm very surprised to see a girl in the school. How did you get here? Well, one of my options was to go to an all-boys school. I'm really sorry, but I don't think we can keep you here. It wouldn't be appropriate, as you're the only girl here. Plus, all our students here have top grades. I don't think any girls can beat their grades, because, you know, boys are smart. Wait, really? Is that the reason you don't want to keep me here? Yes, the only way would be to test you and see if you get good scores on the exam. In order to be a student here, you have to get 100 out of 100. So, do you think you can do it? Okay, I'll do it. Shortly, I'll prepare your exam paper. Don't be upset if you can't do it. Oh, I can. Trust me. I'm going to prove to you that girls can be smart too. We're not just here to look pretty. Hey, can I ask you something? Yes. Did you have to do an exam before starting in the school? Yes. And did you have to get 100 out of 100? What? No, I only had to get 50 out of 100. So the principal did this on purpose because he thinks I can't get a good score. All right, thank you. I'm going to prove him wrong. I'm so ready for this exam. I've been studying all night. Here's your exam. You have one hour. I'll be standing here to make sure you don't cheat. Oh, don't worry, sir. I don't need to cheat. This is going to be very easy for me. Here's your exam. You have one hour. I'll be standing here to make sure you don't cheat. Oh, don't worry, sir. I don't need to cheat. This is going to be very easy for me. You have two minutes left. Done. Are you sure you don't want to read over your answer? I already did. When do I know the result? In about two hours. Okay, can I go to class now? Go ahead, I'll call you when the results are in. Psst. Hey, Amara, how's your exam? It was okay. Can you imagine the principal wants me to get 100 out of 100 in order to stay in the school? What? That's insane. It's also impossible to get 100 out of 100. No one ever knows the answer to everything. Well, I was up all night studying yesterday, so I hope I got all the questions right. Hey, stop talking and focus on the lesson. Sorry, miss. Amara, the principal wants to see you about your results. Okay. Come on in. I'm pretty surprised with your school. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think you could do it. Because usually girls aren't smart. What does that mean? You broke the school record with the highest grade. <laughs> so, does that mean I'm a student here now? Nope, not yet. What do you mean? That was the deal. I have to test you at PE. As you know, boys are usually better at sports. And if you want to be a student here, you can't embarrass us. We often compete against other schools. And what sport do you want me to play? Basketball. Considering your height, I'm not sure you can do it. It's not too late to quit and switch schools. No, know? I want to do it. Okay, practice starts at 5 p.m. today. Don't be late. Okay, sir. Okay, everyone. I want you to try and score as many goals as you can. Why can't I get any in? Hey, let me help you. What's your name? Chris, and you? Amara. Okay, focus on what I'm doing. Since you're a beginner, you have to stay not far away from the goal. Focus on the little box right there. Once you hit it, just like this, the ball should go straight through. Hey, you have a try. See, I knew you could do it. Hey, Chris, get back to your team. Don't help her. I have to go. I'll see you later. But hey, don't give up. You're doing good. Amara, come here. Yes, sir? I want you to score 20 goals without any misses. If you can't do it, you can't be a student. 20 goals without missing? Not even once? Not even once. Okay, get ready. The test starts in 3, 2, 1. A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mines after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Amara's house looks like. I've seen it. It's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. 
What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party, but if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir, I understand. They'll soon know the truth, but I have to get ready before they come. I wonder what the reaction will be like. Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir, this is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't to this house. Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to of her? Of course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara's. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house isn't Amara's, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. Dad, finally. Do you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir, I brought it. Here you go. Good. Now, let's see if the house is really yours. Oh my god, so that luxurious house is really yours, Amara? That house is really Amara's? Yes, see, sir, I wasn't lying about the house being mine. Jenny, are you ready to leave school? Amara wasn't lying. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kick me out of the school and keep the sleepover at my house. Because my house is still more luxurious than Amara's. Jenny, the sleepover was at your house last year. Your house is really luxurious, but Amara's is even more. But that was last year, sir. My house has changed. It's more luxurious now. Okay, students, let's go to Jenny's later to see the current state of our house. Okay, sir. Sir, can I go too? Of course, Amara. All students in class can go. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want Amara to come to my house. What? Why not? You went to my house too, and I didn't care about it, even though you called me a liar. It's my house, and when I say no, it means no. Why doesn't Jenny want me to go to her house? What does she have against me? I feel sorry for you, Amara. Even though I'm friends with Jenny, I'm sorry. You don't have to feel sorry, Olivia. You know what? Just come with me to Jenny's house. If she says anything, I'll take the blame. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Olivia. <gasps> Wait, why did you bring Amara here? Oh, come on, just let her in. You feel sorry for her, don't you? Do you want to get removed from our friend group? No, Jenny, but... Hey, what's that noise? Can you guys stop fighting? Amara, come on in. Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir, I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be at... How many times do I need to eat today? 50 times? My stomach's gonna explode! Whoa, why did you bring all that food to school? Because I have to eat 50 times today. 50 times? I only have to eat 5 times. You're gonna be fat. Why the body shaming? Class, in today's lesson, we're going to be learning history. Sir, can I go to the toilet? My stomach really hurts. You've been back and forth to the toilet like a hundred times today. That's because she wants to go to the canteen. Yeah, she was seen eating at the canteen last lesson. Shut up! Sorry, Amara, but I'm not going to let you get any more toilet breaks. I've eaten so much food today. Only ten more meals and I'm done. Wait, the food ratio isn't meant to be spent. It's dangerous if you run out. You have to stop eating now. What? The food ratio above your head is only meant to be spent when you... Pretty candy or ugly candy? 
Which one should I choose? It's obvious. Choose the pretty candy. I don't want to have ugly kids. Okay, I want to choose the pretty candy so that all the boys will love me. Whoa, I look so beautiful. The pill worked. Who are you? Mom, someone broke into our house. How come you don't know your own sister? Amara, why is your face so pretty? I'm beautiful, right? I chose the pretty pill. But I didn't get that option. You didn't get it? Lucy, you're so ugly. I'm so disappointed in you. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. Whoa, I can't believe it. My child is so beautiful. Well, it's all thanks to you because you told me to choose the pretty pill. I want to show you off to my neighbors so that they know that I have a beautiful daughter. Don't be ridiculous, Mom. I'm shy. Whoa, is that a new student? How come she's so beautiful? I can't believe it. My dream is coming true. I'm going to be the most popular girl in school. Why is your face so pretty and mine isn't? How come your face is so ugly? Look around. How comes everyone here is so ugly? Because we all got the ugly candy. Didn't you get it? No, I ate the pretty candy. Does that mean I'm the prettiest one in school? Why is there a whole crowd of people running? I just told everyone that you got the pretty candy. <sighs> Why would you tell them? I trusted you. Because I don't want you to be prettier than me. Give us the pretty candy. <sighs> Why are you all so obsessed with being beautiful anyway? Because if you're not pretty, then you're not appreciated. Attention, the school's holding a competition. The most beautiful person wins. Can I participate, sir? Don't let her. Her beauty is artificial. Yeah, she's fake. They're just jealous because I'm more beautiful than them. Shut up. If you want to register, please come to my room. Are you sure you want to join this competition? Yes, and I'm sure I'll win because I'm the only beautiful one in the school. But there's one more person who isn't ugly in our school. Huh? That's impossible. I'm the only one who got the pretty pill. She'll come soon. You can see her face for yourself. Hello, everyone. Why isn't your face ugly like the rest of the students? I didn't get a candy because I woke up late. By the way, do you have an extra candy? Yes, I got one. Here you go. Eat it now. She's so dumb. I'm so gonna win this competition. Mom, what's this? You need to guess your first word in order to win 10,000 They're giving away 10,000 pounds for guessing my first word. What happens if I get it wrong? If you get any letters wrong, you die. What? I never thought I'd be playing hangman with my life on the line. Okay, Amara, think. What could my first words be? I mean, the most common ones are Mama and Dada, so... A? How can it not be A? How many wrongs can I even get? Four. Only four? Um... I? Yes, okay, um, E. I only have two more tries, how am I gonna guess this? Let's try H. Yes! Okay, let's try K. Of course it's not K, I'm such an idiot. Amara, you forgot your hair strainer on in the room, now your car oh, is done. Oh, shit. A hundred percent. That should be more than enough for the rest of the day. Wait, before you go to school, did you take your bottle of air? Yeah, it's in my bag. Okay, class, we're jogging around the hall for 20 minutes. Make sure you have enough breaths. Ninety percent. Should be enough. How do I feel like I'm running out of breaths already? 15%? How am I 15% already? Where's my breath ball? Do you mean this one? Oh, thanks. You poked a hole in it? Why would you do that? I could literally die. I know. It's only 11 a.m. How do you have 10% Because left? someone decided to poke a hole in my bottle. Mom. Hey, why are you home so early? I'm on 1%. I'm about to die. Mom. Hey, why are you home so early? I'm on 1%. I'm about to die. Here, take this, hurry. Thank you so much, you saved my life. But whose ball is this? It's an emergency one. I've just had it around in case one of us runs out of breath. Amara, you're back, what happened? Oh, my mom gave me a breath ball. Turns out she had an extra one. Um... What? No one has extra air balls. Either she gave you hers or she took it off someone else. I have to go. Mom? Hey. Thank God you're alive. Whose breath ball did you give me? I already told you, I had an extra one. I know you're lying, just tell me the truth. Okay, fine, it was your dad's. He's old anyways, you still have your whole life ahead of you. You killed my dad? Technically, yes, but I still saved your life. 